and welcome back to the channel on this video we're doing a night ride with the Lyric Graffiti as you can see we're all set to go this is going to be a video talking a little bit about night safety riding as you can see I've got the headlight there and there's the tail light uh, the bike being white kind of helps too in being able to be seen and I want to take off my helmet and show you that I am wearing my Xnito helmet and it's got a little light in the front and a flashing light in the back and it is raining it looks like a mix of rain with some wet snow a good measure so I'm going to strap my helmet on I'm going to get on the bike before the seat gets really wet. And we're going to go for a ride. Get my gloves on here. So I do have a raincoat on right now. It's a reflective uh, rain coat. It's got uh, reflectors on it and it's a really bright yellow it looks to me like it is the rain mixed in with the wet snow when I left home there the temperature was at 39 degrees definitely wet out here so as far as riding at night, my preference is to not ride at night, uh, but I ride uh, to and from work every day and when I ride into work it's always dark out in the mornings because I leave just after 5 a.m. so it's definitely dark outside at that time. But uh, I don't have too far to, to go and I... Uh, stay on the uh, uh, side roads as opposed to the main highway if I'm gonna ride at night I do prefer to ride out of traffic if I can I mean it's not possible for everybody to do that I'm sure there's people that ride you know right with traffic even at night so if you're going to do that, you do definitely want to be seen. That's the number one uh, safety tip I can give is definitely uh, light yourself up somehow. Like uh, I think these helmets, the x Needle helmet that I'm wearing right now is perfect. It's a nice helmet. It's not heavy on your head and it lights up. That's really good for safety uh, to be lit up like that. And uh, if you'd like to purchase the x Nito uh, helmet, I do have a link in my description. And there is a discount code to get yourself $15 off of the helmet. Uh, you'll see that also in the description for this video. And uh, I mean, I see lots of bikes that are well lit. They've got lights on the... Uh, rims they've got light you know lights everywhere so they can definitely be seen I'm uh, like I say I'm not a big night rider so I don't do a lot of riding at night but I do uh, make sure I'm lit up enough that I can be seen and then the other thing is you want to have a good headlight I mean this bike the Lyric Graffiti has an awesome headlight I mean you can't beat it and uh, because you want to see where you're going and uh, it's always tricky at night I, I suggest as well to to ride just a little bit slower so if something does come up upon you you have uh, time to react because at night we can't see everything this particular spot where I'm at right now is well lit so this is good but if you get on like some of the side roads 
you can't see everything, you know, unless you have very good lighting. And uh, just recently I did a video <clears throat> where I was riding in the bike lane. And all of a sudden, you know, like um, I come upon garbage cans or trash cans um, in the bike lane, you know, people putting out their trash to be picked up uh, the next morning or that day. And if you're riding at night, you're not going to see that, you know, and, and, and unless you have a very good headlight and can see it far enough ahead. That's going to come upon you so quickly that do you have enough time to react as a mouse goes running by straight there? So, um, always, I always say you got to be ready to react to almost anything. I mean, animals could run out in front of you. I know there's going to be times where it's absolutely impossible, you know, to be able to react to something and uh, quick enough. But uh, if you do need to ride at night, though, just just keep yourself, uh, make sure you're well lit, got reflectors on, and can be seen. Number one, and then you want to be able to see where you're going. So those are the two. Uh, I'd say the two main things, especially uh, letting cars know that you're there, you know. I don't know what percentage of riders actually ride at night, but I'm sure it's a lot less than in the day, but I don't know what the numbers would be, but like I say, I don't do a lot of uh, night riding and uh, the only most of my riding in the dark is just to work in the morning and that's only about a mile ride so it's not very far at all uh, just take care out there if you are riding in darkness As the rain is a coming down, the cold rain this uh, this evening for sure. As we are just now into daylight savings time as the clocks just changed Saturday night, Sunday morning. We get uh, in the evening, a little more daylight. So as we approach the uh, summertime here, We're going to get more daylight so into the evening so there may be less chance that you ride in the dark unless you're riding late night or overnight you may not even have to be out in the dark depending on where you are sometimes the sun doesn't set till you know you still have daylight till well past nine i think here in the uh, longest stretch of daylight i think we don't get dark until well, for sure past 9.30. I think you can still see a little daylight, even that late. But you want to even be more careful riding at night when it's like this, wet. Slick roads, you know. Right now here the temperature is enough above the uh, 32 that we don't have to worry about it freezing. 
like I say when I left home it was uh, for this ride it was at uh, 39 degrees so we're plenty uh, warm enough to uh, keep anything that's uh, falling from the sky here from freezing but it is a cold rain I can feel it hitting my face uh, for sure So happy night riding to all those that do do night riding and uh, keep safe out there. Well that's going to do it for this video on the channel. If you like this video go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and you're subscribed. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll get the notification that a new video uh, has been released on the channel. If you'd like to leave a comment on this video or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And if you'd like to purchase the Lyric Graffiti e-bike, I do have a link in the descriptions and I have a discount code it's Oregon e-biker mark all one word that's Oregon e-biker mark if you use that in the descriptions there if you uh, hit the link and use that code you'll get $150 off the purchase of a Lyric Graffiti also the ex Nito helmet that I was talking about that I'm wearing right now it's a class 3 helmet for speeds up to 28 miles per hour per hour uh, certified so if you would like to purchase the ex Nito helmet I do have a link also for that in the descriptions and if you use that link or that uh, yeah that link in the descriptions you'll save yourself $15 on the purchase of a helmet so once again Thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.